<clears throat> Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree. Today I'm tackling a, a difficult subject. So really the topic is going to cover the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. And let's be honest, if you are LGBTQIA+, these were not good decades for you, especially the 70s and 80s. So let's start with the 70s. The 70s were an especially bad decade for us because it was illegal in most states to be gay or trans or anything that wasn't normal, the, the norm, you know, cishet norm. Now it actually started in the late 60s, our movement, um, the Stone Stonewall riots, I believe, were 69, 68, 69, somewhere in there. And that's when we started the whole Pride movement. And things slowly started to change. And I say slowly because they're still, they still suck for us. Especially if you're trans. But let's talk about the 80s specifically. That's what this video is mostly going to be about. In the late 70s and into the early 80s, as you probably know if you know history, the HIV virus came on the scene. And if you caught HIV, it wasn't long before you got AIDS. There was no treatment for it back then. If you got it, it was a death sentence. It devastated the queer community. Let's just be real. So a lot of people have fond memories of the 80s. You know, great movies, great music. Some people like the TV shows. I don't like any of the TV shows from the 80s. But if you were in the queer community, it was not a good time for you. Because either one, it was still illegal in some places to be yourself. Two, if you were yourself, you got bullied or worse, killed. And three, we were all, a lot of us were dying from HIV. And the government didn't do shit about it. <clears throat> the whole damn decade, they didn't do shit about it. Not until the early 90s when this little white boy died and it made national headlines. And he didn't, he didn't get it from having sex. He got it from a blood transfusion. And that's when they started to take it seriously. <clears throat> but we were still dying in the 90s. And it was still illegal in a lot of places. We hadn't got our rights yet. We didn't start getting rights until like 1999, 2000, when the Supreme Court finally started saying, yeah, you know what, treat people right. And it took the Supreme Court. It took a couple of Supreme Court decisions. The first one was to make it okay to be gay, period, in public, because Texas had this law where it was illegal, and they were still prosecuting people for being gay. And the Supreme Court said, you have to stop doing that. And the next one was in the 2000s. I don't remember the year. I think it was like 2013, maybe? It was in the middle of the Obama administration. In the middle of the Obama administration when the Supreme Court legalized gay marriage. Same-sex marriage. If you've been paying any attention to politics, you know that they're trying to reverse that. The Republicans and they're attacking trans people they're making our lives miserable right now so if you ever hear somebody on Twitter or on social media say that the 80s sucked this is why we don't remember that decade very fondly like some people do and I just wanted to put that out there because you know it's important to know your history and it's important to know that not everybody had a good time. <clears throat> 